What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be adding Firebase to our project and going through that setup process. So Firebase is gonna be what we're using for our backend service here. It's gonna handle all of our user authentication, all of our data storage, and all of our image storage as well. So it's a one-stop shop that is really, really easy to use. It's all run by Google. So let's go ahead and get started with the setup. We're gonna to go to console.firebase.google.com and just make sure you're logged in with some sort of Google account. And then we're gonna just go to add a project. And I'm gonna call this Messenger Tutorial. And I'm gonna hit continue. And we are not gonna enable Google Analytics. Let's just go ahead and create our project. And just let it do its thing. And then we're just gonna need to set up a couple things in the Firebase console before we actually integrate this into our Xcode project. So this is finishing up now, let's hit continue. And this is gonna be our Firebase project, guys. So first up, let's go to build on the left menu there and then select authentication. So we are going to click get started up here and we're just going to enable email and password verification for now. So let's hit email and password, just go to enable and hit save. So that's good to go. Then also under build, let's go to Firestore database. And same thing, we're gonna say create database. And then we are going to start in test mode and we're gonna hit next. And go ahead and just select a region that uh, applies uh, to the nearest location for you guys and hit enable. I typically just do United States, but if you're in another country, obviously just select whatever country you're in. And now our Firestore database is set up. Guys, something I like to do is go to the rules section and for some reason they put a time limit on how long you can you know, use your database. So this will trip a lot of people up whenever uh, you know, a month goes by and then some for some reason your app isn't loading any data. It's because it's usually because of this. So I just go ahead and change this to like, you know, like 2030 or something like that and just hit publish. So this is what happens when you start in test mode. I don't know why they do this, but it is what it is. And let's go and set up one more thing. We need to set up Firebase storage. So storage is where we're gonna be storing all of our images, like profile images for users. Once again, just start in test mode, hit next, hit done. And we should change the date here as well. So let's just wait for this bucket to create. And then we are going to integrate Firebase into our Xcode project. So let's go to rules and let's just change the date once again to 2030, hit publish. And now let's go back to our project overview, guys. And now we just go and we are gonna get started by adding Firebase to your app. So select iOS. Let's get our bundle ID. So we can just go back to the app Click on the project name up at the very top of your directory and you're going to go to this bundle identifier option, hit that arrow and we can copy and paste it. Now, I always like to copy and paste it because sometimes you can type it wrong and that will cause problems for you later on. Let's hit register app and then we're going to download our Google service info plist file can literally just drag and drop it over into my projects. Make sure you have copy items if needed selected. And guys, let's go ahead and make sure we change this. You need to delete the dash number and just make sure it says Google service dash info. If you don't delete that number, if it did show up for you, it's gonna cause problems. So now that we're good to go there, let's hit next and we need to install our Swift package. So you guys can go ahead and copy that link right there. We're gonna go back to Xcode. We're gonna hit file, add, uh, add packages. And let's go ahead and paste that in there. It's Firebase iOS SDK. We're gonna hit add package. And there's gonna be a list of packages that show up and we are going to 
uh, select the ones that we need for this project. So while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and hit next. And once um, we select the packages we need, we're gonna take this code that we see here and copy and paste it into our app file. And then we'll be able to use Firebase's uh, full on API inside of our project to help us authenticate users, upload profile images and all that good stuff. So uh, this is still doing its thing. This might take a while to fetch all the stuff. Okay, we got it going. So let's select what we need, guys. We definitely need Firebase Auth. We need Firebase Firestore, Firebase Firestore Swift. And we're also going to need Firebase Storage right there. So go ahead and select Add Package. And then let's go to our app file. Uh, yep, so our app file. And then we're just gonna go back over here and we're gonna copy and paste everything we need. So we need to import Firebase Core. So let's do that. And then we're gonna grab this whole app delegate thing and paste it above this. And then we need to copy this line as well to get our application delegate adapter, just like that. And this is throwing an error. Um, I think that's incorrect from our compiler. Let's go ahead and just see if we can hit Command B to build our project and see if that error persists. I think it's gonna go away. Um, sometimes it just takes your Xcode a little bit of time to recognize these libraries. And once this is done building, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this section. So once you get a build succeeds message, you can just uh, hop to the next video. And then we're gonna actually, we're gonna get started with actually like uh, signing users up in the application. So we're gonna be going back to this login and sign up flow and creating some users for our app, which is gonna be super exciting. All right, guys, and you should see there that your build does succeed and that we are good to go. Um, so now that we're done with our Firebase setup, let's go and hop into the next section where we're actually gonna start implementing Firebase to create and register some users.